Join me as I dive into what could happen if the GOP reject the 2024 election results. Let's see what the Bible has to say about it all. Election results are the foundation of the healthy democracy. The outcome of an election can shape the course of history, and its impact can be felt for years to come. In the United States, the peaceful transfer of power has been a cornerstone of the democracy. With each new administration taking office after a free and fair election, but what happens if one side refuses to accept the outcome? There's no doubt that the stakes are high and the consequences of rejecting election results can be severe. It's not just about winning or losing and it's about, about the very fabric of our democracy. And the 2024 election is already shaping up to be one of the most consequential in recent history with deep division within the country. We've seen it before the heated rhetoric, the allegations of fraud, and the existential claims that the very future of the nation is at stake. But as we navigate these treacherous landscapes, it is essential to remember that the bedrock of our democracy is the rule of law and respect for the will of the people. As we ponder the implications of rejecting the election results, Let's keep in mind that this is not just a political issue, but a moral one with far reaching consequences for generations to come. In 2024 election landscape, the GOP is poised to play a significant role with the party loyal base and a strong grassroots organization. It's likely to be a key player in shaping the outcome. However, recent political trends have raised concern about the party's commitment to democracy or the democratic norms and institutions. The increasing polarization of American politics have created an environment in which facts are contested and truth is relative. This toxic atmosphere has led to the decline in civil discourse and the erosion of trust in institutions. 2024 election will be a defining moment in American history with the country facing a choice between competing visions for its future. The GOP stance on election results will be critical in this landscape and its decision could have far reaching implications for the nation. In the upcoming months, we will witness a battle for the soul of America with the GOP at the forefront of this struggle. As we head into the election, it is essential to understand the role the party will play and the potential consequences of its actions. If the GOP rejects the 2024 election results, the consequences will be severe and far reaching. Constitutionally, it could lead to a crisis of legitimacy within the judiciary, the legislator, and the executive branch at loggerheads. The impact on social cohesion will be devastating with protests, violence, and instability becoming the norm. The already fragile social fabric of the country could be torn apart, leading to a decline in trust and a rise in extrem extremism. Politically, the consequences will be catastrophic with the GOP's action seen as a rejection of democracy itself. The party's legacy will be questioned and its survival will be in doubt. The international community will view the United States as a rogue state, undermining its global influence and credibility. The economic consequences will be severe, with markets plummeting and investors' confidence shrinking. As the Bible says in Psalms chapter 11, verses 3 to 5, the foundation of law and order have collapsed. What can the righteous do? But the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord still rules from heaven. He watches everyone closely, examining every person on earth. The Lord examines both the righteous and the wicked, and he hates those who love violence. The Life Application Study Bible for verses 4 and 5 says it beautifully. When the foundation are shaken, and you wish you could hide, remember that God is still in control. His power is not diminished by any turn of events. 
Nothing happens without his knowledge and permission. When you feel like running away, run to God. He will restore justice and goodness on the earth in his good time. Verse 5 says, God does not shield believers from difficult circumstances, but he examines or tests both the righteous and the wicked. For some, God's test becomes a refining fire, while for others, they become an incinerator for destruction. Do not ignore or defy the tests and challenges that come your way. Use them as opportunities for you to grow. In this scenario, the very foundation of our democracy will be destroyed, leaving the righteous with no option but to fight for its preservation. In Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17, the Bible commands us to learn to be, do right, seek justice, encourage the oppressed, defend the cause of the fatherless, plead the case of the widow. If the GOP rejects the election results, it will be a rejection of justice, a betrayal of the oppressed, and the abandonment of the most vulnerable. Throughout history, We've seen examples of what happens when a political party rejects the will of the people. Some say in the 19th century, the, the southern states ceded from the Union, leading to a devastating civil war. In the 20th century, some say, fascist and com communist regimes rejected democracy norms, leading to some of the darkest moments in human history. Today, we see authoritarian leaders around the world stifling dissent and discrediting democracy institutions. If the GOP rejects the 2024 election results, it will be following the footsteps of these authoritarian regimes, betraying the principles of democracy and the will of the people. But there are those who argue that the election is fraud and that the fraud is real and that the system is rigged, and that the GOP has every right to contest the results. To them, I say that while allegations of fraud must be taken seriously, the evidence must be presented, and the legal process must be followed. Rejecting the election results without credible evidence will only lead to chaos and instability, undermining the very foundation of our democracy. In conclusion, the stakes are high and the consequences are severe. The GOP's decision on the 2024 election results will have far reaching implications for America and the world. But as Christians, we have a moral obligation to stand for truth, justice and democracy and democratic norms. We must pray for our leaders that they may have the wisdom and the courage to do what is right. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you want to explore more about the intersection of faith and politics, check out my video on the role of the church in shaping America's democracy. Thank you for watching. God bless you and God bless your family. Thanks.